Under the Lemon Tree, it's episode 23. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Rena 100 Show, a show where I, Rena 100, talk about whatever I want every week. Um, and this week the theme will be something that haunts us all in the middle of the night. Aren't you excited to hear about that? It is, of course, money. Money makes the world go round. The world go round. Science has not proven that yet. In fact, science hasn't proven that money has anything to do with the world going round. But you already knew that. <clears throat> money. Wow. How's it affect so much about our lives without being a real thing? <laughs> I don't know. Isn't it so interesting that humanity can just decide to agree upon a shared reality and then suddenly it just impacts everybody in incredibly dramatic ways? It's almost like us agreeing with each other has immense power and could change everything. If only we could. Why can't we agree about other things? Why can't I ever do an episode without going into this accent? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, isn't that interesting? That we all agreed that this thing that doesn't... I mean, I guess at one point it sort of did exist, right? The, the gold back, green back, green bay packers. <laughs> okay, Rena. Um, but yeah, money used to be a thing, like it used to be this much gold or silver or whatever that I guess had value that, but we still gave gold that value because it's shiny. What is that? Why do we love shiny things? What is that? Why? I mean, I get that they're pretty, but why? <laughs> why do we love, why do we value shiny things, sparkly things? I mean, the stars are sparkly. No, none of it makes sense. I don't understand why. But anyway, I guess money used to have intrinsic value. And now, well, no, it only has theoretical value that we've all agreed upon, that we based our whole society around, kind of. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of wish we could also agree upon some other stuff that could also be very impactful. You know what I mean? But yeah, as much as money isn't a real thing, it feels incredibly real. Why? Because its effects are real. It impacts all of our basic needs. Housing, food, um, feeling like we have a real career, Rena. Um, you know, I had a lot of trouble calling myself a comedian until I actually was making a living at it. Uh, which only happened, I don't know, nine years in, something like that, which is fair because I was pretty bad at it for the first five or so. And then I had to, you know, it's, it's a journey. It's a trajectory. It's you're on a graph, you know, you start at one point and you get to another and uh, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's a, uh, there's a road to go down, but yeah, in the end it's, it's money. It's getting money for it that made me finally feel like I could call it a vocation. And in that sense, money validates. And money is our lifeline. Money is what we depend on to get the food into our fridges, to get the roof over our head. It just affects so much of us just staying alive. And that's why it haunts us. Because, because um, a lot, for a lot of us, there is no safety net. I mean, we know we're going to get more. It really represents a lot about what's mysterious about life, isn't it? Because, you know, like, let's say you're stuck in a bad feeling. You, you, you know, logically, you're not going to feel that way forever. But it feels like you will. And it's kind of the same thing when you're broke. It's like, you know that you're, you're going to have more money eventually somehow. You're going to figure it out, right? But but it feels like it's never going to happen. And it's so scary when you're at the bottom of it all 
and you're worried about <laughs> just getting keeping your basic needs met living paycheck to paycheck is i i cannot express enough how mentally and emotionally taxing that is and you're just like why am i so tired all the time why do i feel so bad why cuz you have no safety net you don't know that you're definitely forever going to have your basic needs met because you don't have enough money to cover that. So sometimes I pretend in my head like what it would be like, how I would feel in my body to be really rich and just walk into a building knowing I could buy and sell it if I wanted to. And Well, that's fun <laughs> sometimes. But so for those reasons, money deeply affects the way we see ourselves because money is literally value. It's a numeric value for something. So it's really the only logically measurable way that we can be like, this is exactly how much value I have in society. Otherwise, it's just vibes. You're just vibing it out, thinking about how much value you have. Of course, it's a lie. Money has nothing to do with how valuable you are to society. It's a big fucking lie but it's the only way you can actually measure it in numbers in real time so it messes with your head and it lies to you and it makes you think oh I have this much money that's how much I'm worth to society and I'm worth to the world and it is so difficult to rip your worth away from that number and just know that you have intrinsic value regardless of what is in your bank account because it's just so damn quantifiable. But in the end, it's just, it's incredibly arbitrary. Not only does it not fairly represent your value, it doesn't actually represent anybody's value accurately at all. It is, in my opinion, 100% arbitrary who has a lot of money and who doesn't I think though it's hard it's like our minds need to justify our minds have this incredible need for story for storyline story arc and to justify why things are the way they are like our minds can't handle just chaos and mystery and just mystery without answer endless mystery the abyss of the unknown that is all around us. Our minds can't handle it. So we need some story to justify our reality because otherwise it's just chaos and meaningless and it's just very hard, very hard to exist with that. I don't know. Why can't we handle that? Why do we need story? I mean, that could be a whole separate thing, but I think our, our brains just need to justify the amount of money we have in our bank account. And that also feeds into why we need to, um, we need to tell us this ourselves this story about how it represents our worth or alternately alternatively whichever word works you figure it out if you have a lot of money you know some people feel like well i just am really good at manifesting <laughs> which we all know is privilege and bullshit uh, i mean i think do we all know that i don't know i mean uh, there is a thing with vibes, like you get the vibes you you put out. That I do think that is true to a certain extent. But sometimes you have hard days and that's fine and you're bad vibes, whatever. Um, but yeah, like I think our minds need to justify also if we have a lot of money by saying, well, I'm just kind of special, you know, <laughs> or I'm just kind of superior or I'm just really good at making sure I feel good all the time so that I get exactly what I want. And that is just also a huge lie. Um, you didn't create the society. You have a complicity in you know, participating in it, but you didn't create this. You didn't do this to yourself, um, and it's not your fault. And you're not rich because you're better than other people. And I think deep down... You've got to know that. Otherwise, you wouldn't need to buy all that crap. Um, yeah, I think money also doesn't make sense to our animal brains um, because it's not real and it's not found in nature and it has nothing to do with actually getting things in nature. So there's something about it that like when we look at the face of money, it's like our our animal lizard brains just like will not process its existence. It's just like, meh, meh. 
I don't know if that happens to you. All this to say, if getting money is not coming easily for you right now, and for a lot of us it isn't, I just want you to reach down deep inside and know that that has nothing to do with your worth in this world. Nothing at all. You are worth it. And money has nothing to do with it. And also, you're going to be okay. You're going to get more money someday. You're going to be okay. You're going to have your needs met. You're going to know how to put one foot in front of the other and take care of yourself in this world. And there are people that love you and will help you. And just keep going. (laughs) It's rough out there. Uh, All right. Love you. (laughs) Love you? Love you. Okay, bye. Oh, oh.